Hello, welcome to my channel. How are you today? If you're a subscriber, thank you for coming back for another video. If you're new to my channel, well, welcome. Hopefully you like everything that you see. And so, if you watched any of my prior videos, you might have seen the one where I created my stickers here. And I was getting ready to make a card. I'm just, I was sitting here laying things out and looking to see where I wanted to put my stickers and before I cut anything or did anything. And then I'm, this bottom down here just kept calling to me. It just kept saying, you need something here. Don't waste this. It needs to be something done. This is Cricut printable sticker run. So I got to thinking, I'm like, well, if I can print on it, I should be able to stamp on it. So I want to take my uh, stamp, stamps, and I'm going to use May May Made It's um, Hair Peaking stamp set, and then I'm going to use Brutus Monroe's Love Bug stamp set. And I'm going to stamp on here, and let's see how this goes. I don't know if it's going to turn out good or not. And I'm going to use Memento Ink because that way I can use my perm my permanent, no, my alcohol markers. Now I don't have a full set yet. These are all only ones that I have and they are by Style File, Style File Marker. And I bought them at BrutusMonroe.com. I will put a link in the um, description below of all the items that I use today so that if you want or need, you can go through it. I'm not affiliated with anybody. I don't get any commission for any of my links used. I don't, no money coming in this way for anything I do. It's all just me doing it. So anyway, let's get started. Now, I believe I want to do the little love bugs with the mushroom. So I'm gonna set that right there. And then, I want to do let's see what else would I want as a sticker I'm gonna do the butterflies I think those colors I have will do well for a butterfly now I also have other markers that I'll probably end up using but, okay so I have that and I'm not gonna do my sayings because I have little things that I can put those on and I have sticky tape so I can do all that um, let's do the bunny though. I would have the main one. Put that there, put that there. And then we're gonna take this and we're gonna do the bunny. I'm just gonna turn my stamps into stickers if it works. So we got bunny one. Bunny two. Like that. I don't know if I'm in the viewing area or not. I hope I am. Let's turn this one this way. There we go. This can go here. And this guy can go there. And then we can and you are. I got, I got that guy wrong. Turn over, buddy. Turn over, bunny. Turn over. Hip hop on over. The hippity hoppity Easter's on its way. But we're not doing these as Easter, even though you would think, oh, bunnies and all that Easter. Nope. We're doing this for Valentine's. I'm just doing the carrots because I like carrots. So let's see. I guess I will do the sentiments. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna do the sentiments. I'm gonna save the sentiments. All right. I'm not doing the sentiments. I got the bunnies. I got all that. Brain work. Let's see. Do I have 
Where's my piece that goes over that? Here it is. So here I am, here I am. Let's see. I also have a love bug type one. It's not called, it's called Buggy Love from May May. And these would be really good for Valentine's too. Like I'm bu buggy over you. Be my. Be my little darling. Where's my little dragonfly? Where's my dra little dragonfly? Ugh. I really need to, these are not cheap. I got this in one of the, um, let's do the caterpillar. Let's do the caterpillar. And let's do the other little caterpillar. Little caterpillar, big caterpillar bunnies and carrots and all this cool stuff. Okay, so these are the stamp sets that I was using. Two of them are by May May Made It. And you can find her stuff at MayMayMadeIt.com. And the other one is Brutus Monroe, and his is, you can get BrutusMonroe.com. And I'm just double checking to see if there's anything else that I might want to use. And no. Okay. So, and I'm going to use my Tonic Studios platform, Tim Holtz platform. Which, now that I figured out how to use it properly, I love it. And in determining the reason I picked out this one was price. I really wanted the Misty. That's the one I really wanted. But I couldn't afford that one. And this one was on sale. I got it for like $19.99 or something like that. Real, I think these normally run for $30, bucks, but I found it for $20, and I had to get it. Where Misty is like $60. So that's the reason I'm using this one. And I can't compare it to the Misty because I don't have the Misty, even though I want the Misty. So, okay. Let's do it like this. Let's turn our sticker page. Like that. Let's put that magnet right there. And then let's put that magnet right there. Close the stamping. Now, if you use the um, Tim Holtz platform and you're like, it's not stamping, why isn't it stamping correctly? Blah, 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 blah. And you're using clear stamps, make sure that you have this lid turned so that it says clear. Let me show you. See, this lifts out. See? I thought I broke it the first time it came out. I was like, oh no, but it's supposed to come out. The reason it's supposed to come out is if you look right here. Nope, that color is not going to show it good. If you look right there, it says clear. And then if you turn it over, it says rubber. If you do the rubber side, it's for the rubber ones. <laughs> so anyway, these clear ones need to be on the side that says need to be able to read it, say clear, and I just lost my bunny. I lost my bunny, 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 bunny. Let's put him right there. Okay, now let's put this back in here. All right, so I just explained that to you because that really had me baffled. I was just like, I was like so upset that I spent money on something and it wasn't working. And yeah, so let's move this. Make, it has to be in all the way or it won't open up like you want it to. Let's take this Memento ink. And the only reason I'm using the Memento is because it's the only black that I have. And it can be used with alcohol markers. So let's do this real quick. Ah, that's just great, right? Let's just make a mess. 
Make a mess, make a mess, make a mess. Make a mess. Now see if it doesn't stamp good the first time. You don't have to worry that everything moved on you. Okay, so let's see how that turned out. Now see, like that butterfly and that caterpillar didn't come out good. So let's redo them. Good. The carrots came out real good, so I really don't want to do too much more on those. But my caterpillar. Little flies. There we go. There we go, now we can color them. Those magnets are tricky, tricky, tricky. You gotta be really careful because they will slap right together quickly like. Okay, so we have them there. So now we're gonna color them. And this is gonna be a lengthy video. And I'm gonna use the guide on this right here for the, this is the rubber side, it's got it not as deep but anyway I'm gonna put that there to keep that still while I'm coloring so what color do I want my mushroom my ladybugs need to be red but where's my red I don't have red in this color I have one that's close to red though so we'll just do the mushroom in this color let's do the mushroom Now, I don't have a blending marker or any of that yet, so I'm just coloring, and I don't color very good. It would be much better if I had the whole blending thing. And I am very inexperienced with Copic markers, so, which these aren't actual Copic. I don't know how you would see that. I don't have a way to blend this out because that would just be adorable like that. They may be ugly, but we'll get over it, right? We'll get over it. Let's do the yellow. I don't know how this is going to look, but let's try it anyway. See, when I bought these, I should have bought them, like, with different tones of these, you know, like in the same color family sets. But I was just wanting to get some to get going. Let's do our bunny's ears. Let's get this color here for the bunny's ears. Oh, I don't know. Pink would have been better, but this is because this is gonna be the same color as the carrot. The carrots need to be this color. I'll do the other one, lavender or something. Seeing as how. I love how nice and bright these colors are.
And I love how the Memento ink is not smearing, smudging, it's staying put when I do this. I don't have a green either in, Coke, in these markers. I'm gonna have to pull out my other markers. Oh look, they're right here. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use some of those. Matter of fact, I have the green and the Tombow, but they're not um, alcohol there. So now let's see what color do. Rose beige. Let's do the caterpillar's face. Ooh, we knocked it down. Like it. I should have done it a different color. Let's make him blue. Is there anything that says that a caterpillar can't be a blue color, a teal, or whatever color? Oh, that's dark. Very, very dark. It's like I'm doing very light strokes and it's a very dark color. But guess what? They're gonna be stickers. They're gonna be a sticker. Let's take the yellow and go over his face and see what it does when the colors mix together. Let's see what I get. Oh, I get a darker brown. That's all. I did that on the side because I didn't want that color staying there. All right, butterfly. Let's get the other bunny's ears up and do this lavender. I know this is a pretty color. I know this one is Easter Valentine color. I like that color there too though. This one is, um, I keep calling it lavender, but it's pastel violet. I love how easy they flow. Wait, we gotta do that little guy. What color are we gonna do him? Hmm. That bunny's belly gut has to kind of match him. other markers. What other markers are we going to use? Let's see. We could do it with some glitter pen. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see how that works. These are Cricut glitter pens that I got in a mystery box. I believe they were in one of my mystery boxes. I don't believe I just ordered this straight out. I don't think I would have done that. Okay, and I have a Tombow Red. Is that my red or is that my orange? It looks orange. I think it 
need that more red. Well, what's the worst that could happen? The worst that can happen is that we don't like it. Right? Right. See the memento? I don't think water moved it around. It's not smudging or anything, so. So that's good to know, good to know. And we'll just go ahead and do these little hearts in this color too. There we go. Now, let's choose this green for this little caterpillar. Now these Tombos, I believe, are water-based markers, so it's almost like watercolor in a, in a marker form. And I do have a blender for these, but I don't know how to use them. And then let's use the darker green for the carrot. And then, 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 then we still gotta do these butterflies. Let's check the purple and see how that goes. Oh, that's dark. I didn't want to do it that dark. That's dark. Oh. And a Copic would be so much better. Good gravy, baby. Good gravy, baby. Do, 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 do. What do you do on this rainy, rainy Sunday? That's what it is. It's a Sunday. I don't know what day you're actually watching this. That looks horrible. I just ruined my stamps that I did to make. But it's okay. We live and we learn, right? What would make me say? Don't stress about it. Live and we learn. And I don't like that. I totally messed it up. I don't like that. Very berry. Let's see what this does. This is a Cricut marker. Intended to write with an own color in it. Mm, it's almost like that Cricut marker color of that. Bunny stickers will be okay. But these butterflies and my mushroom, I'm not happy with. But I'm showing everybody anyway. I am not perfect. Nobody's perfect. And if they say that they are, then they are totally fooling themselves. I'm gonna mess it up. Let's just mess it up good. Let's add a really vibrant color here. See, this is lighter than that other one. I like that.
Okay, I think this one is a metallic pen. Dusty Rose. Oh, it's a gel pen by Cricut. Gel pen. Almost got a metallic look to it to me. But it's Dusty Rose gel pen by Cricut. Boy, that's about messed up looking, huh, guys? But that would be a cute color. No, it would not. You know, it's funny. Sometimes we just end up reverting back to our Crayolas for the color we want because they include it in their pack. There's the color I wanted. Light turquoise. Yay, thank you, Cricket. Even though I already ruined my... And yes, I made the girl pink and the boy a blue color. Because I just like it that way. Nothing politically about making stamps, so anyway. All right. And then we just gotta cut them out. Let's do that. Let's get some scissors here. I don't know what I just dropped. I need to cover that hole up on my table. It's for an umbrella, because this is an outdoor table. So what one do we, let's cut the bunnies out. Let's use the bunnies today. I suck at fussy cutting also, guys. I suck at... I, I just stink at all this, but I still love it, and I'm still going to do it. Look, I got a little bunny now. <laughs> and it's a sticker.
it boring watching me cut? Cause this, I don't like this part. That's why I have a crooked. I don't like cutting. I don't cut well. I don't. I don't like it. So I'm. Um, <laughs> I don't like fussy cutting, and my fingers don't like it either. My hand does not like it. But I do love the outcome. That one is like not the. I've done way worse than that. That's like one of my betters. Look at that. Look at my bunnies. I'm so happy with them. <laughs> I love my bunnies. <laughs> no, she's just sitting over there looking at me like, what's wrong with you, mama? Come back to my chair. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with mama. Mama's good. Well, there's a lot wrong with mama, but we're not gonna go there. Okay, so now we have to decide how we're gonna place our bunnies. I have a feeling. I want these two together, so I may have to do something different with my bunny. See, this is where it would be helpful if I had other people here to help me figure out what I'm doing. I should put a ribbon or something so that they're coming. Because I don't want them coming right out of the bottom of the card. And I think they stand out from that background enough. I think that'll work. So, like... And then, somebody loves you, or something to that effect. Okay, so let's get the things trimmed up so we know. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I think I got it. Let's get our paper trimmed. Over here, he's back in here. It's probably what fell with a marker. All right. So we know that a card base is going to be.
stop falling everything. <laughs> okay, now let's try this again. All right, so. We know that we want this to be four and a quarter in length. That we know. And then we want it to be Two inches. There we go. So, about in two inches would be that. Then I'm using all this stuff. This stuff should just like totally not be here right this second. Let's move this out of my way. Move that out of the way. I am going to take one of these back though and use it so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Ribbon. Yay, I get to use my ribbon. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get to use my ribbon. I think it's coming to work. I know I want these three things like this, so the, everything else will just have to build up from it. So I'm going to cut this just a tad bit bigger than the paper. And I'm probably, you know what, I think today, instead of glue, I'm going, okay, so I have this ATG gun, and I have the worst luck with it. Look, it's wanting to come off of there again. It never wants to stay on the rollers. And then it gets all messed up in here. And I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm following how it says to line it up. But let's see if it works today. Push the button. Roll it. Stop the button. Pull it up. Hey, look. Don't curse yourself, Linda. Shush. Okay, now see, I can't move it. That's why I like, that is why. I 
I should have done foam cape for my ribbon. We probably can still do that. Look, I got a perfect piece. We're gonna do it. Once I put this down, we're screwed. It's down, man. Once we do this, oh wait, what the heck? Did you guys know that um, the acetate you get from this isn't the piece? I'm not playing with these on the camera. I'll just cut a new piece out of this huge, gigantic roll I got over here. Creating a mistake, but we'll see. sure but okay to this HG gun. All right, so we got that. I think that's cute. And then we can just stick our, I like that. There we go. Maybe we just do one bunny. Oh, I like both bunnies, but do I want the bunnies? Dimensionals. Yes, I think so. Yes, yes, yes. So let's cut this piece in half. Oh my goodness. Get <laughs> British Monroe foam tape is extremely sticky. Extremely sticky. It will definitely have your things stuck where you want them. I'm taking things like that off. Okay. Sorry if my head's there, but there we go. Oh, I didn't have to do that. They're stickers. I'm looking at it, I'm like, why are there lines on the back of it? Because they're stickers. Oh well. I made them stickers and that. But at least I didn't waste that portion. <laughs> and see this can be a valentine or 
Easter, you know? So I was watching a thing where Tim Holtz was telling you how to clean it, and he's like, well, just take a little bit of hand sanitizer. Everybody has hand sanitizer. Shame on you if you don't. <laughs> That's what he said in one of the videos. Um, I think it was Ken's Creation who was recording him during Creativation 2019. That's what it's called, right? Creativation? Anyway, so I'm sitting there going, well, I don't have hand sanitizer. I have rubbing alcohol, but I don't have hand sanitizer, and I was told you're not supposed to take alcohol these days. So... So anyway, somewhere, and I'll find it, but somewhere I have um, Squeaky Clean by Brutus Monroe. That stuff is just awesome. It removes the ink off of surface like this. It removes the ink off your stamps. And I'm just going to move these stamps for time's sake up here. I'm not sure if I'm done with them today, but I know that I don't want them on what I'm stamped. I keep wanting to pick that bag up that's underneath there, but it's under this. It's not on it. I'm laying all these out because if I'm going to be stamping sentiments, I might as well just go ahead and do a bunch of them. I think I'm going to call myself the Mishap Crafter. Mishap Crafter. And have a bloopers channel. <laughs> okay, so I am using Brutus Monroe Embossing Ink Clear. Because... Oh my gosh, these things underneath there. <laughs> because I am going to emboss the saying. And a heat emboss. There's a difference with. That's what I should have done. I should have done um, used embossing folders on that pink. I put some little, made it like hearts or something. It would have been cool. Okay, so. Shirts on there, pretty daggum good. I'm pretty sure I can see it all. So now we're going to in our messy, messy workspace. <laughs> Let me get a coffee filter up. Um, I learned this neat little trick from a card day's work, and then I think I saw Jennifer McGuire doing it also. So, and some powder. Oh, you know what I didn't do, guys? And I gotta get in the habit of it, but I did not do my static stuff.
I didn't use my anti-static powder. So for this to be as clean as it is, it's like, whoa, yay. But see, I still got it like around here like that and it shouldn't be. And that's because of the, I didn't do the powder. But that's okay, let's get this back to where it belongs. Okay. We'll pour that back in after we do this heat and boss because I don't want to knock any more off again. Look, I did. I did. That's all right. Noise, noise, noise. noise. My dog is like, oh, what are you doing, Ma? I want you to see, see if you can see the change in it. <laughs> 